Marriage is a bond that is built on the strongest faith. It is seeing the other as their truest self. And deciding to make a promise to love and accept them through every season of life. Marriage itself is a commitment, but it is your love for each other that will make that commitment last. As you step into the rest of your life together as husband and wife, remember your commitment here today and the love and respect you share for one another. Jeremy Madison. I've loved you as long as I've known you. Three years ago today, you moved me out of my Portland apartment. Although you were only a few hours into what I would have considered our first date, you dug a ring pop out of the back of my closet and you asked me to marry you. Maybe that's not what you said, <laughs> but it's for sure what I heard. But regardless, I kept it with me all 30 hours of my drive to Texas. We spent those 30 hours on the phone, getting to know the depths of each other's hearts, despite the drop calls and the increasing number of miles between us. I'd call back four to five times in one minute, trying to get a signal. I was so desperate to talk to you. There's a lot of really nice venues outside of Austin, but here we are, right? Jeremy's never been one to settle, and he's always had to have the best, and he has the best. In meeting you, Cassie, it's completely clear why he's so in love with you. You have an energy that you can see from a mile away. Your bubbly personality meshes perfectly with his chill, cool demeanor. But most importantly, you're making my boy a better man. Cassie. I see the work of God in this relationship everywhere I look, and I am so grateful that none of it has been up to me, because I almost messed it up before we even got started. I was glad I changed my mind, but I was ready to accept that you were just a temporary angel, because I didn't believe in long-distance relationships, especially with someone I just met. But God came through again, and at every juncture where past relationships failed, ours didn't. The miles between us brought us together. In the time apart, our hearts drew closer. Matthew 19, verse 6 says, So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. So everyone raise your glass and let's make a toast to Cassie and Jeremy. <laughs> You'll know it's the one. Best Buy date still holds true. June 17th, 2021 the day I fell in love with you. I couldn't believe it when I looked at the back, but God is in the details. I know this for a fact. That was really good. Can I kiss you? <laughs> I feel extremely blessed that God gave me the front row seat to watch you grow. Thank you for being my sweetest angel turned adult best friend. I love you more than you will ever know. I pray that God will bless you and Jeremy with a lifelong, happy, and successful marriage. I know there will be days where I let you down, and I know I'm going to disappoint you because I'm not strong enough to sustain something as holy as marriage on my own. But I serve a king who is, and I vow to keep our relationship in constant pursuit of his eternal glory for as many days that he should give me with you. You are sunlight, and if all I ever do is sit in your warmth, that will be enough for me.
let us raise our glasses to celebrate the love, the laughter, and happily ever after of Mr. and Mrs. Jeremy and Cassie Madison. Cheers to the newlyweds. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? What is it? I love you. Today, more than yesterday, and tomorrow evermore. You're cute, even though I can't see you. Let's get married today. That was so good. Thank you. Endorse this, this is great. Let's keep this going. So, anyways, that's it from me. Thank you guys. Love you guys both so much. What God has joined together today, let no one separate. You may now kiss the bride.